Hey everyone, welcome to another time lapse video. This video is created from a tutorial that I have made for my patrons. So if you want to watch the full length tutorial playing at normal speed, you can support me on Patreon. The link to that is in the video description below. Patreon is a monthly subscription service where you can pledge a certain dollar amount to help out the artists that you support. All right, let's get into this um, video. So for this particular sketch, it's actually based on the sketch that I drew a few days ago at the sketch walk uh, in some park here in Singapore. So I was there sketching with my friends from Urban Sketches Singapore, and I drew a scene. I wanted to record this tutorial there and then, but it's very difficult to film the sketch walk to paint and also to record the tutorial. So I created a tutorial based on the same scene that I have sketched. And I created this tutorial at home with the help of a reference photo. Uh, one thing about reference photo is my camera lens is not able to capture the whole scene so parts of the scene is actually cropped off but for reference purposes it's still enough I have already drew the pencil line sketch now this scene has a lot of tall trees so the main challenges when it comes to drawing a scene like this is you need to be able to fit the trees in the scene you need to be able to fit their staircase in the scene so measuring the trees measuring the staircase their proportion and trying to fit them into the scene is one challenge the other challenge is when you are drawing so many trees you can get lost as in once you start drawing one or two trees it's okay but once you start drawing 10 20 trees you may get lost and all the vertical lines they may start to look the same again so for me when i draw the trees i will put in horizontal lines on the tree trunks to tell me that that is a tree so if you look at my sketch when i put when i draw horizontal lines on the tree trunks i know that that is a tree and for areas without the horizontal lines i know that that's the background now for the color palette that i used in this tutorial i use lemon yellow i use phthalo blue and i use queen acridon red if i'm not wrong the third challenge to painting in this scene is to observe the light and shadows and when painting light and shadows try to get the contrast right that has always been a challenge to me the colors that you use when painting dark shadows is not as important as getting the contrast right so for example some parts of the trees they are in light some parts are in dark some of the staircase some of the stairs are in light some of the stairs are in shadows and there is the background which is very dark and for the leaves some are in light some are in shadows so you need to get the contrast between the light and the shadows right so that it will create an illusion that the subject is lit by sunlight and when you have light and shadow it will give form to the subject for example when you have light shining from the right side in this case it will cast shadow on the left side and when you see the shadow you know that there is a three dimension uh, feel a three dimension uh, physical attribute to that specific subject so that's how shadows will make your scene uh, come alive give your scene more depth of feel here i'm painting the stairs with crinocridon red i'm just um, quickly dabbling some red onto the sides and for the tree trunks i'm using french ultramarine and burnt sienna this is a transparent mixture that you can overlay, you can glaze onto other washes that you have already painted. But make sure that those washes are dry, if not the colors are going to blend together. And once the colors, are, if you mix the colors wet on wet in this particular case, the colors are going to blend together and it may look muddy. 
but why I'm using the shadows in this way is because I want to glaze over the existing color so that at least some of the colors beneath will still shine through. So for the colors on the stats, I use raw sienna and when I painted shadows over the raw sienna, I can still see the raw sienna beneath. When painting trees, um, the, the tree trunk that is directly beneath the leaves, they are dark because the shadows from the leaves are cast sorry the, the leaves are casting shadows onto the tree trunks just right beneath the leaves so uh, you must paint those areas darker and now i'm drawing a person this person is cropped off because i am drawing these stairs this flight of stairs from the bottom of the stairs and from my angle that person is cropped off I have a reference photo for this but there is no person standing there but I know that the person is cropped off because um, I saw some people walking on the stairs and they look like that the actual proportion of the person may not be as accurate because I don't have a photo with the person inside but that's just um, something that I remember. If you want to take reference photo, you should take it with people in your scene so that later on when you refer to the reference photo, at least you can get some sort of uh, skill. Uh, you can get a sense of skill. All right, so uh, let's take a closer look at this sketch for the leaves. Well, this is a coconut tree. I think this is a coconut tree or a palm tree so the leaves they should have uh, very distinct shapes when you look at a tree like this you should be able to tell based on the shapes of the leaves what kind of tree it is that is actually the most important uh, thing about drawing trees but if the if, but if the trees are in the background they're all jumbled together then it's okay not to have a distinct shape they are all going to be merged together into one big shape but if the trees they are standing alone then try to get the shape of the tree right so these are the tree trunks that I talked about some are in light some are in shadow so for the parts that are in light I just glaze over with some light raw sienna so that's all for today's video I hope you have enjoyed it if you want to watch the full life tutorial you can support me on patreon I put out a few videos on patreon each month and if you want to practice on this particular scene you can check out the reference photo the link is in the video description below all right thank you guys for watching see you in the next video bye